Hello everyone, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Um, so today's Gatling webinar is going to be on launching a frontline test with AWS. So I'm very happy that Gatling have asked me here today to present another webinar for them. So a little bit about me, first of all. Uh, my name is James, James Willett. I'm a full stack developer um, for SAP Concur in the UK. I'm based in uh, Reading, which is just outside of London. Um, just a little bit about my career. So I, I've got around 12 years of sort of experience in software testing and development. Um, I started out originally as a kind of manual automation tester and then moved into a lot of performance testing. I've used quite a variety of performance test tools, but I've always had a particular fondness for Gatling and I've used it for many years and I've got quite a bit of experience in it. So hopefully I can impart some of that onto you today. So on to today's webinar itself. So we're going to be talking about launching our frontline test with AWS. So we'll have an overview of exactly what Gatling Frontline is for anyone who isn't already aware. Um, and then we'll see how we can provision our Gatling Frontline in the AWS marketplace and how straightforward and simple and simple getting all that set up and running actually is. We're then going to take a look at our application under tests. So we've got a demo application that we've built and that we host online that we use to teach Gatling and that we use for webinars such as this one just to do demonstration purposes. So we'll be having a look at that and a quick look at the code, um, the Gatling code behind that. And then we'll be doing a live demo where we'll actually be spinning up um, a frontline uh, load environment and running a stress test against our application. So Gatling Frontlines, I mean, I've used Gatling for many, many years. For many years, I made do with the open source tool, and I was always impressed by how powerful and once you once you understand the basics, how easy to use it is. And I only really became aware of Frontline earlier in the year when the Gatling team reached out to me and asked me to explore it a little bit further. And I was all straight away blown away by how intuitive and easy it is to set up and just how powerful it is to execute distributed testing. So Gatling, as maybe some of you will know, is a very, very famous tool for being able to generate huge amounts of load just from single load injectors. And running those tests is great. And that's a really great way to put load testing into your CI pipeline or to um, just, just to get up and running. It, it's very, very straightforward. but one of the main use cases of performance testing is obviously having distributed testing, having your load injectors in multiple different locations. And doing that with the open source version of Gatling is tricky. But Frontline makes that all so, so simple. So with literally a few clicks of a button, as we're going to see in this webinar, you can take your existing Gatling open source scripts and you can execute on demand um, a distributed load, load testing environment. So you can generate a lot of traffic from a single injector. And of course, with multiple injectors, you can create enough traffic for pretty much any performance testing situation. The reporting with Frontline is also on another level compared to the open source. So the open source reporting is really good. And the test report that you get at the end it's really, it contains a really good breakdown. But the great thing about Frontline is that you can see your test executing in real time. And you get your real time reports in there as well. And there's a lot more detail in those reports as well. And again, we'll be seeing some of that in the webinar. Finally, one of the things that's struck out to me as many years as a performance test consultant, I've provisioned a lot of different tools such as Load Runner, and Neo Load, et cetera. And I've always been quite flabbergasted about how expensive some of these tools are to run. With Frontline, it's such a cost effective solution. So for example, if you're using just in AWS, you only need to spawn injectors on demand. So you literally only need to pay for the time when you're running a test. Typically, this might only be for an hour or two. So as you, you, we'll go through some of the pricing in a moment, but when you're running frontline tests compared to some of the other options on the market, it's really, really difficult to beat from a costing point of view. Again, we'll be seeing a little bit of that in a moment. So frontline itself actually comes in two different flavors. There's the on-premise on premise version where you handle the installation of the tool yourself. So maybe on your own VPC virtual private cloud, you might install frontline that way. Or as the way we're going to see in this webinar, you can do it through a cloud provisioning. So we support Frontline support all of the major cloud providers, so AWS, Google Cloud, DigitalOcean, et cetera. Um, and there's documentation and guides for deploying in all of these different environments. But the most mature is AWS, and it's in AWS that we'll be seeing in the webinar today. 
So if we go over to the Gatling Frontline website, and we can just see then some more information on Frontline. We it, we talked about some differences between the on-premise and the cloud mark and the cloud versions. We have links then to the documentation and descriptions of all of the different features of Frontline. So we talk about the clustering and distributed mode, which is one of the most powerful features of Frontline and how we can spawn load injectors on on demand and our continuous integration plugins, etc. So. There's lots and lots of good, useful information there on Frontline um, to help you get started. So what about when it comes to actually provisioning Frontline? So you want to take this first step, you want to try out Gatling Frontline. So you can just go to the website here and we have the AWS page here. And then we have straight away a, a free trial option. Just before we go into that, let's just talk a little bit about the pricing. So you can see for just a continuous load testing, even just with a single injector, it's only a cost of $3 an hour. So it's a really negligible cost. I mean, even distributed testing, only $9 an hour as well. So in terms of a cost-effective solution, you really can't get much better than Frontline. Um, so in terms of, once you're ready to start, you can literally just click on try it for free. And then you'll be taken over to the AWS marketplace where you can provision your um, Frontline server. So there's just some documentation to read here, and then it's just literally just a question of clicking continue to subscribe. So just one important thing to point out here, while the charge is only $3 an hour, you do still have to pay then the hosting cost as well. So for example, the cost of hosting an M4 X large instance, which is the minimum size that we would recommend to run a frontline test, you would still be paying 20 cents um, an hour. So it's very important that you shut down your frontline instance when you aren't using it, else you will be charged. So that's just one important thing to bear in mind. But in terms of the actual provisioning itself, so most of you are probably familiar with how AWS works and the various setup and config keys, etc. So I'm not going to go through all of that in the webinar because it will be quite boring. But the frontline installation guide will take you through all of this step by step. And we also have tutorials on the Gatling website, which will take you through this in detail. So this frontline tutorial free here, and all of these resources are available just in Gatling frontline resources. I highly suggest recommend checking these out because in these, in these videos, we go through all of the steps of setting up these security groups and setting up the different IAM users, et cetera, um, the EC2 key pairs, for example. And so this would, these would tutorials will take you through step-by-step step provisioning everything in frontline and all of the all of the steps and bits and pieces that are required. So I highly recommend checking those out. So just back to today. So if we look at the kind of architecture and we're going to deploy this similar sort of architecture live in the webinar today. So what we do first of all is we deploy our frontline management console. So this will just run on an AWS instance. And this is the controller or the management interface, if you like, where, where all of the frontline tests are run from. So what we will do here is that we'll configure this management um, console to then when we execute a load test, it will spawn injectors on demand in the cloud. What does that mean? It means that we'll spawn, we can set up injectors to spawn in different location zones, so maybe one in Singapore, maybe one in Germany, et cetera. And then it will run the test, run a distributed test from all of those different locations. It will collate all of the results then into one result report and then send that back to you at the end. So this architecture normally would be very, very complex to set up, but Frontline makes it so easy and so, so straightforward. It can literally be done in just a few clicks. And that's what we're going to see in our demo. So in terms of our demo today, the application that we're going to be testing is uh, something called the Gatling Demo Store. So this is a website that we've been built, we've built previously. Um, it's based on, it's a Magento e-commerce website. So it's a fictional store that sells um, eyeglass cases. So it's just running on a single server. The architecture is nothing particularly special. It's just um, running a PHP web server and it's got a MySQL database as well. If we jump over to the store now, so it's not too pretty to look at, but it's very, very functional. So we can click on all of the different products. We can add products to our cart, you have various pages, etc. So it's a good store. To, it's a good um, site rather to practice on, practice your get and scripting on. So in the previous webinar, we went over how we would create some of the basic scripts like this. And we also have other tutorials coming out 
um, in the very near future that are going to document how to create these scripts in more detail and how to create all of the different user scenarios, etc. So we have a lot of training material on there that will get you up and running even with running these Gatling, creating these Gatling scripts from scratch. Of course, these Gatling scripts are all just open source and you can just run these yourself. But then when you're ready to run them in a distributed environment, and to run them in the cloud, then you can take them over to frontline. That's the natural next step for you. So I've got my frontline management console spun up here. So this is the main um, a main server in AWS. So I provisioned this already through the AWS marketplace and that's running okay now. And I've got my user logged in here. So I've gone through the setup already to provision um, the different pools. And so I've just set up three different pools at the moment in three availability zones. So I've set up availability zones in Frankfurt, North Virginia, and Singapore. So to set these up, you just have to put in a few basic options, which are all described in the documentations or the training videos that I referred to earlier. And here we just need to set up our private keys, etc. And then um, Frontline will be able to spawn injectors in any of these zones, as we as we're going to see in just a moment. So if I head over to my simulation now, um, let's just have a quick look through this one quickly. So this is just going to run, it's just going to execute this test code. So this test code we've already put up into a GitHub repository and then Frontline will just be able to pull in that code for us and then it will be able to execute, execute this load test. So it's just going to execute it as a Maven project. So we have options to build the project in Gradle or SBT as well, or even some other custom build command if you would prefer. So in terms of our pools for this test, we're going to run a single injector in North Virginia and then two injectors in Singapore and two injectors in Frankfurt. So we're going to spin up five injectors altogether and run the test in a distributed fashion. I'll save that and I'm just going to click start now. So as soon as I click start, what will happen is Frontline will then reach out to um, each of those availability zones and it will spin up an EC2 instance in each of those. It will go ahead and install Gatling on each of those. It will then run the test in distributed modes and we'll be able to see the test, the test um, being run live. Then once the test is finished, it will collate all of those test results, put them into a single report, which we'll be able to see in the management console here and it will shut down those injectors automatically as well. So although we have five injectors running for a time, that it will only run for the duration of the test, which will probably only be a couple of minutes or so. So I'm in my North Virginia here and I can see I've got this injector spinning up already. So that injector is being spun up and Gatlin's being installed on that. If I cross over to the Singapore availability zone quickly as well, and again, we can see the two injectors have spun up already and um, Frontline is in the process just of installing Gatling on each of those, and then it's going to run run the test. So all of this just happens just for a, a click, and there's just some very, very simple setup that we do beforehand just to get to this point, and then we can just run a distributed test on demand. It's really, really powerful stuff. So from the moment you click play, it typically takes about a minute or so for, for Frontline to go ahead and install on each of the servers, to install Gatling on each of the servers. So we can check the progress if we look in the logs here. So it needs to SSH into each of the um, servers and to, and to install, front, install uh, Gatling, the version of Gatling onto each of those. Once the upload has been done to each of those, the test will just begin to execute automatically and we'll be able to actually see the test results being displayed in real time. So compared to Gatling open source, where we would only get a print line to the console every five seconds or so for the progress of how the test is running with Frontline, we actually get to watch our test in real time and we get to see the report being rendered in real time as well, the graphical report, instead of just having to wait till the test is finished. Put sip of water. So we can see now that the test has started. So if we just click on this icon here, we can jump over to the test re reports. And again, this is the live report being generated as the test is running. So we can see a breakdown of the requests and responses per second. 
um, the responses by per, se uh, per second by status, etc., and broken down by each of the different percentiles as well. Also, if there's any errors occurring, we get details of that straight away. We just jump over to the user tab. So now we get a breakdown of how our concurrent users look in our tests, so the number of users that are arriving and terminating. Um, we also have stats as well on the connections. So we can see the open and close rate, the TCP connect duration, etc. The TLS handshake duration as well. So a lot of these results are not available in the open source version of Gatling. They're only available in the frontline version here as well. Uh, we can see a breakdown again of the DNS bits and pieces as well, uh, the bandwidth that's being used in terms of the bits per second. Of course, because we're running through five different injectors, um, it's good to monitor those injectors as well, because you might find yourself in a situation where, particularly if you're running, say, many, many thousands of virtual users, um, you might, might find that your injectors themselves become the bottlenecks. So if they're running on protects, quite low grade instances, they might not be able to cope with the amount of load on them. So Frontline monitors each of your load injectors, and you can see again, the breakdown of the CPU uses, et cetera. And this is each of the injectors here. So each of their different IPs, and we can view each of the individual injectors just to see how they're performing as the test goes on. If I jump over to the groups panel, um, so the way that I set up my scenario is that I grouped a few of my transactions into larger requests. So for example, the part where you submit your final order that typically encompasses a few different um, a two, few different steps in the script. So we can group all of those in together and then clearly see a breakdown of that in, in, a, in frontline here. So we get an idea here of our response time percentiles. We get our 90%, 95%, et cetera. And these are all very, very useful metrics then for us to for us to be able to manage it. So the test has been running for a couple of minutes and that's finished right already now. So now what we can do is we can actually generate a public link to this report. So the public link can then be sent to any stakeholder. So they don't need to be a frontline user or they don't need to be logged in or anything like that. So you could just send this to your manager or your stakeholder and you give them a really, really interesting detailed breakdown of the test that you just saw. It's very, very useful for reporting. Similarly, you can click on the export button and you can produce a PDF report as well. So you get a preview here of what the report is going to look like. You can customize this as well for whatever metrics that you want to have in place. Just click export to PDF and then Frontline again will generate a really nice test report there for you that you can then send on to, um, again, a manager or a stakeholder. So it's just really, really useful, again, reporting feature another feature that's only available in Frontline, not available in uh, the open source version. With the open source version, you just have to make do with the built-in reports. Another feature of Frontline, which I really like, is being able to compare test runs. So uh, you can see here, I've executed four or five different runs over a period of time. And I can just click this compare runs button. I can compare run three and run five, for example. So this is really useful if you're actively developing your application and you commit some sort of code change, for example, and you want to assess the impact on the performance. So you just want to see what the performance was like yesterday compared to today. So just being able to compare reports, again, with just a click of a couple of buttons, really, really powerful and really, really useful as well. Interested in learning more about Gatling scripting, the Gatling Academy is now live. So the Gatling Academy takes you through everything that you need to know to get set up with Gatling. So it literally takes you through from having no prior knowledge experience whatsoever, even of coding. And we get you installed with all of the, the pre-dependencies and you write your first script, you get to use the Gatling recorder. So again, we have this um, training material. This is all available for free, just on the Gatling website through Gatling IO. So, if you haven't used Gatling before, and again, you're interested in trying out just the open source version, I can highly recommend this is a really good place for you to start. Well, thank you very much for your time today. I hope you found the um, presentation useful. Again, look out for your email tomorrow where we'll be sending out and sending out the recording of the presentation as well. And again, it will have details of how you can claim your $50 in free credits to try out the AWS solution. Thanks for your time. See you soon.